welcome back to the episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 17, Season 2. Today we return after the Day 21 Massacre. Ooh, piece of freaking candy. Where are you, airdrop? At least something here to cheer up my day. Because as you guys know, Day 21 was not a very good day. Okay, so we got that thing over there. Oh, wow, that is... Jesus, that looks further than it actually is. Or it's further than it actually looks. Whichever way makes more sense. Long story short, the Molotovs betrayed me because apparently you throw them at the goofiest angle and they are very good at setting yourself on fire. So next time I plan on throwing them, I'm going to have way more water on my tool belt. Part of that definitely, partially, most likely my fault. But in the meantime, we're going to try and take our mind off that massacre. We do need to start working. For now, I'm just going to temporarily toss this, uh, whatchamacallit, just all this stuff into one of these chests because the day is a little bit, uh, not young exactly. It's about like noon right Right now so we don't have the most time in the world to work with so we are trying to be a little bit uh flexible with that i'm gonna try to keep this stuff away i will bring the fire axe i was also trying to bring the steel pickaxe and we'll bring the bone knife in case we gotta skin anything because we got some adventure lined up for today lads and lasses what type of adventure exactly i couldn't tell you to be completely honest but we'll get to the bottom of it and we will figure it out but in the meantime hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety and then it gets more fan for fantastic uh, from here on out. Will that be from the video? Giving you a giggle, uh, bringing a smile to your face, so anything like that. Hold up, am I hungry by chance? We might need to grab some food before we dip. We also have 13 more minutes of near death trauma. My favorite type of trauma. You're only significantly worse in every way for as long as it happens. Good thing that we didn't die multiple times because that could have been bad. Speaking of food, I know our food stockpile isn't like crazy big or anything, but now that I'm thinking about it, you know what might be kind of handy? Do I have any, did I ever cook that bacon up by the way? Also, I really should have used the recog during that day 21 horde. That is one part where I did a boo-boo. If we were doing, using the recog, things may have gone significantly smoother than they went but i just kind of overshadowed it in the midst of the craziness because the clock was starting to tick i didn't have it in my inventory yet totally my fault but so be it we gotta roll with the punches we gotta you know make peace make amends with the flaws that we have done and we gotta start preparing for day 28 which is a horde that i refuse to succumb to all right, losing the one horde is enough. We have a very nice foundation here. We're gonna upgrade the bejesus out of this. I'm gonna try to get some electrical traps ready and rearing to go to have that thing trapped up and ready. But uh, also, this is the first video since we are back from Europe, the first seven days to die video since then. Apologies for a little bit of a delay, but literally ever since we got back, there were like multiple new games that came out that I was checking out before a little bit, including Durango Wildlands finally coming out, which we are continuing to check out and give a little bit of love and also frostborn which i was not expecting oh jesus that could have been bad yeah frostborn which i was totally not expecting so if you guys are following those series hope you guys are enjoying those as well but if not i do apologize your seven days to die programming is returning and no need to worry about that we're going to continue trying to get it out every about three or so days maybe give or take a day just depending on how upload schedules and all that jazz look and god dang it I want to triumph. So some of the big picture things that we want to knock out, obviously getting a nicer vehicle would be dope, but that is not going to happen. Dear, oh, did I bring gas? Oh, for the love of everything. Do I have gas in here? Do I have gas in the store? Woo! 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 Okay, that's what I thought. I was just double checking because I, I realized that I didn't, I, I put gas away. So I was just hoping that that did not backfire. But some of the big picture things that we do want to knock out is obviously, whee! going off ramps for fun no some of the big picture things Ooh, is this a trader maybe i i see let's freaking go Woo! finally this airdrop is a godsend we have civilization near us Guys, we have explored every which way. We went that way. We went that way, that way a little bit. We didn't really go south, but we went most of the which ways. And finally, the trader is here. That's really good because this is probably where we're going to be getting a lot of those electrical traps that we do want to use. Also, where we're going to sell a lot of those extra weapons and stuff that we have. Speaking of which, I am probably have some stuff up here. Yo, what's up, my dude? Goodbye, my... I got to get my stamina back and then I'll say Auf Wiedersehen to you, comrade. Just want to get a big old swing. Swing, bada, 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 swing. 
Get out of your face. It's no longer needed. Step away from the bicycle. That's right. I'm the bicycle police. Back up. You're literally walking closer to it. Unacceptable. That's what you get. A sledgehammer to the face, to the face. Okay. Now, as we were saying, we are going to open this up. Not there. We're going to open up the junk in the trunk. And then within this junk, we have... Uh, Actually, not a lot of stuff that sells for a lot. This hunting rifle, actually, okay, okay, okay. These compound bows are kind of decent. Nothing here selling super amazing. I will keep that with us. I know that'll come in handy. I, I'm not sure if I have a tool and die set at home. I might, but I'm not going to sell that just to play it safe. Let's try to sell some of these compound crossbows, some of these extra guns, make a little bit of... And see if maybe we can't purchase, like, a nifty mod or two. We might have enough uh, money through selling. <gasps> Yo, is this, is this thing work or is this thing broken? God dang it, Bobby! Ah, I was gonna say we might be able to make use of that. Oh, can I collect your plants? <gasps> can I? Maybe. I cannot. Those are the most indestructible blueberries I have ever seen. Could you imagine trying to chomp down on some of those? You destroy all your teeth. I was about to say feet, because it kind of rhymes. Definitely teeth that I'm thinking of. What up, Jen? How are you? May I see that marvelous inventory of yours? Ooh, the serrated blade. Greater chance to inflict bleeding damage. I don't think we have any bladed weapons, which is the problem. We do have a two-time scope. Ooh! The shotgun rain mod! I need you. I need you in my belly, lads. We gotta sell whatever we can. Please, buy the compound bows. Buy me hunting rifles. I'll sell whatever I can. Oh, mama, we need some more money than what we got. Do you like Molotovs? You do not like Molotovs. God, we might need to... Why don't we see what this airdrop has and then we come back? Because I... I want. I want big time. I want shotgun rain mod. Shotgun rain mod. Make Papa start a happy camper. This is established. Uh, but other than that... Nothing super crazy, really. Do you have any traps, by the way? Is there, like, a trap section here? Like, science? No. Why Snowberry choose science? What? Apparently it's scientific! Alright. But yeah, like I was saying, like, this might be where the traps would be. He doesn't have, like, any blade traps or anything like that. And nothing super amazing here, either. The shotgun choke tightens the shotgun spread. Ooh. Dude, I want some Gratitude. of these things. <laughs> Gratitude! Gnarly, Jen. Thank you so much. What was I talking about earlier before we found this and all this hype? I don't know, but yeah, we got Trader Joel's over here, even though Jen is working it. So that is a big thing that we have definitely started up on and that I am very hype about because we actually have it kind of close. So we'll be able to sell a lot of our loot. We're going to haul quite a bit of stuff over there and try to make a quick and nifty buck uh, sometime soon. You know, the most important thing is that we have the option of doing it, and we're gonna try to capitalize on that option. Uh, faux show, faux show. I thought I saw another cool looking building over here, too. So I might kind of look around a bit. It's kind of hard because of this rain. Hard to exactly tell. Ooh! Let's go! We go to AK 47, except it's really poopy and it can't be modded. That's alright, though. Let's take whatever food we could get. And maybe this rain will clear up here in the desert, because I thought I saw, like, another biggish looking building somewhere about these parts. Rain! Rain! Go away! Come again! Never again! Not even another day! Don't want to hear it. Or see it. Okay, I'm having a heat stroke in here. I'm not welcome here either. Dude, I thought for sure I saw... Was that a mirage? In the desert? Playing with my... Oh, no, there it is. Just over this way. Another pretty big looking town. Oh my god, the heat stroke is strong. Do I have anything like that prevents heat stroke? No. Alright, well, I'll suffer from this heat stroke a bit. I'll take one for the team. Because I want to investigate this area real quick, like. And I want to see if there's maybe any super notable buildings. When I say super notable, I'm talking stuff like a shotgun messiah factory. Or maybe some more pawn shops. I don't know. But yeah, I was not expecting to come across this, so I do want to give it a quick little exploration, and then we'll kind of loop the loop, make our way back. We didn't have a full day to work with anyways. I do want to spend our next full day, unless we find something cooler. Hello, pawn shop. That's the mini pawn shop, but still a pawn shop. Unless we find something cooler, there's that kind of massive apartment complex. I do want to give a look and loot over, I believe it's that thing? There's like a water tower and stuff up top. It looks pretty crazy. I don't like you. I don't like you. I see the vulture in the distance. I don't like this. Not at all. But unless we find something better around these parts, 
I think that's gonna be the move. That's gonna be what we're working with, but... Uh, for some of that big picture stuff that I was talking about, as we continue scouting this place out, I do want to get the base properly fortified and prepared to defend. That's probably one of the biggest things, you know, in the next week that we want to knock out. Hopefully loot up that apartment complex, try to build up some more stuff whenever we get the chance. That looks like some kind of gas factory or something, maybe. Hmm. But yeah, try to loot that place up or any place around here. Whenever we can, build up better vehicles. Definitely, if we find any weapon stores, I do want to do what I can. <laughs> do do. <laughs> I do want to do what I can to try and kind of improve our weapon situation. It's decent, but it could be better. I want some highly modded weapons, because as you guys saw with the Day 21 Horde, we need some good stuff. Ooh, army camps! We might be able to loot ski doodle these real quick. That's what I'm talking about. As long as we don't hit those mines. Yeah, and I'm seeing those mines. Oh no, that's bird nest. Close enough. All right, ooh, that's like a nifty looking little camp over there. I'm not seeing any massive lootable locations, but definitely some interesting ones. Hello, landmines. I have learned my lesson with you. I'd rather hug a cacti than deal with your shenanigans. Hello, hello, comrade. How do you do? You're doing backflips. You're so excited to see me. I love the enthusiasm. You, my friend, I have flaming barbed bat, so please, eat the fire, yes? Yes, okay, he's on fire. Hello, there might be something down there. Sounds like some people are excited to get over to us. Well, no worries, listen. I got plenty of flaming bat for you. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh, he is on fire. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Can more of you guys burn, by the way? There's a severe lack of burning, and I don't like it. God dang it. Did you survive those burns? Okay. We might need to start a swing, bada 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 swinging. Oh, we hit him with that power strike in addition to setting him on fire. Dude, this thing is just too satisfying to use. Can I just put that out there? Like, we have modded this barbed bat into something lethal. It can cause bleeding. It's on fire. It's a torch. It can set people aflame. It blows people up in the distance telepathically. What can't this thing do? Nothing, I say. Look at that. Another telepathic explosion. All while this barbed bat has been doing its thing. Coincidence? I think not. Greatest weapon in existence. Confirmed. Holy guacamole. There are a lot of you hazmat people here. Severe lack of military dudes, which is kind of surprising me a bit. Yo, you want to die, man? There you go. See, he's, he's nice. He died in two hits. That's all that it should take, you dinguses. I maybe should have put on those nerdy glasses, too, before I did this. Those give us that extra EXP. So be it. I'm already busting heads. All right, we'll do that for the next one that we hit up. Woo! No, 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 back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. I've had to deal with enough of you. One. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. There is big boy. There is big boy. Oh, my God. I can't swing. Oh, no. I missed. Okay, hold up. We got to reload. We got to reload. I brought band-aids. I left use those in a second for now. Back it up, kind friend. Back it up, less kind friends. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, 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 was not expecting to encounter a feral, god dang it. Okay, I'll continue using this. Are there suppressors? I need to invest in a suppressor. Please back yourself up, friend. Okay, you are not my friend. You are not my enemy. Okay, you are on the ground? You are dead. Thank you for cooperation, please. Come again. You, you do not cooperate. You get flaming barb the bat. Thank you for cooperating with flaming barb the bat. See, I was hoping we could hit up both these army camps, but if they're both about- Whoa, look at that telepathic explosions. If they're both about to have, like, feral ghouls and stuff, we might steer clear for a little bit. Just try to hit up this one. Especially if there's more dogs. I'm trying to come a wee bit more prepared for that. But that's some of the big picture stuff that we're trying to knock out. If there's anything that you guys would like to see us do, anything that maybe I- Oh, and I do want to get the farm going, too. Another big thing I want to do. Want to get that farm going so we have, like, a steady food supply. Was that a dog? No. A uh, soldier. I'll deal with you in a second. So we got a couple of things like that. If I'm forgetting anything, please try to jog my memory in the comment section. There's a chance that maybe i have just like, you know, I'm thinking of it and I'm going to do it. But I've just kind of, oh my God, goodbye to your face. I've just kind of like, it's kind of slipped my mind for the time being, you know, because that is something that happens. This goldfish brain of mine, honestly, it's probably the size of a peanut. Let's be honest here, right? With the amount of things that I forget, there's a peanut brain going on. But yeah. You know, I do have a lot of stuff in mind that we do, that we do want to knock out. This new town definitely makes things interesting. There's still that skyscraper over in the winter zone. Kind of by our old place. <coughs> that I definitely want to check out because now we actually have, like, military clothing. Not military, winter clothing. 
that would help us get to the bottom of that. So things are definitely coming up pretty millhouse. I like how they're going and despite the pain, things are looking up, but yeah. Definitely with this trader, I'm really hoping we could get some good, like, electrical base defenses going. You know, auto turrets would be nice, potentially expensive to keep track of and, you know, keep working, but those would definitely be nice. Hello to you, Mr. Munitions Box. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna watch my back as I open this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the doors. I don't want to get jumped. Opening up this Munitions Box. Come on, Mr. Boxy. Boxy, Boxy. What you got for me? This is it, comrade. This is all that I get. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to make that return trip. So hopefully that dealer's uh, stash hasn't changed because... <gasps> Level 3 AK-47! Dude, I love these Locky goggles. Not Locky, Lucky. Don't know why I was thinking Locky. I love these Lucky goggles. No, I do. Oh my god. My tongue's getting twisted. I love these Lucky goggles goggles there we go that's what i was looking to say they are treating us good because this kalashnikov 47 has just become our prized possession we're definitely gonna try to put a couple of good mods on that bad boy and turn that into a killing machine because the potential lads and lassies oh it is there hello we got more stuff there we have uh, what is this over here a suitcase who buried a suitcase why is there meat in a suitcase did someone, like, cut up their best friend and kind of toss one of his body parts in there or something? What's going on? What you got down here? Hello? 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 All right. I'll bust into here the old-fashioned way. What is that? Hello? Do you guys see Am I? Hello? What is that? I'm... Are you going to blow up? I don't know. Oh! I don't know what that was. I'm so confused what just happened. All right, well, Star Snipe is confused. It's super effective. He hurt himself in his confusion. I'm trying to see if there's anything else on the outskirts. I do know that there's that one box on the outskirts. <coughs> We're about to hit that up. Sorry about the cough. By the way, I do apologize. Still recovering because apparently this cough like never went away. I've had it for a hot minute. Hopefully everything's all good. Still kind of in recovery mode. I think it's because, like, I'm going to get sick again while we were back up. <gasps> Whoa! We need those shotgun mods immediately because we now have the base for what will be the most powerful shotgun possible in seven days to die. Oh, we can toss five mods on this bad boy. Dude, we need to come back to that trader. I really hope he's not going out of stock already. Where are the landmines? Hello? I'm always scared. Okay, no landmines yet. <laughs> I don't mind the nervous laughter. I just, I, I just nervously laugh sometimes. For no reason whatsoever. Definitely not because I'm nervous. That, that it'd be ner- It wouldn't be nervous laughter, it'd just be laughter. Something like that. <laughs> Dude, the shadow of the cacti though, look at that thing. Freaking raising its arms, that cacti is hype. Ah. Uh... Dude, I'd, I'd love to try to go for this part, too. We might- Oh, don't hit the landmine! We might need to wait to do that next time. We do not have a lot of time to play with. Interesting looking building here with the water tower. Definitely caught my attention. If any of these buildings that we pass up, by the way, look promising, or if you guys know for a fact they got something really good inside of them, please, speak up. Make your voice heard, because I want to know. Now, I'm not sure how many more guns we could sell to that trader, too, even if we were- Pawn shop? Yes, sir. I think we might need to give that a visit. But even if we were to see that trader today still, which, like I'm saying, we're kind of running low on time. I think he's going to close anyways. I don't think we'll make it back there in time, unfortunately. But, uh, as Viva's saying- Ooh. Ooh, looking movie theater here. Looks like it goes down a little bit further this way. I'm going to explore a little bit. Oh, is this McDonald's or something? Hurry Harry's. Interesting. I've never seen that before, dude. That's kind of like a more cool version of that one diner we visited that one time. It's got, like, colors and stuff. Dude, this is a sizable little town we've come across, though. Yo! What's that big building on the right? Schmello! The courthouse! I have never seen this before. That's a new location. 
I think. Or maybe it's an old location that they gave a name. So I know there used to be back in the olden days of Seven Days to Die. There was this building that kind of seemed like a courthouse, but it was never labeled a courthouse, so I, I don't know. That might be an entirely new one, or it might just be that one I'm thinking of. If you guys got any insight, feel free. I'd love to hear it in that comment section. And down below. But we got this little area up on the left. A couple more things here, then we might go full circle again. Ooh. Is that a gas? Are those gas canisters in the back? That might be an interesting building. Mm. Ooh. Are these potatoes? Yo! 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 The farm! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! The potato plant! You guys do not understand. We have been eating potato. I need potato. Potato is mine. My name is now Idaho. I will be known as Papa Idaho. I will provide sustenance, nutrients, and everything ints that you might need. For I have potato. Me and my cousin Ireland will make sure that everyone is good. Jess? Jess, okay, okay. We need to get the stamina back, by the way. Yo! Dude, this is such good luck. And I think there might be another plot of something over that way. What do we need to make the stew, by the way, right? I, I know. Isn't there a third vegetable? No. <gasps> Guys, this is amazing. We accidentally have found the finishing touches. Although, I don't know how we were going to find this stuff on purpose anyways. You got to just randomly explore and hope for the best. We have stumbled across, though, the key to salvation. Now, here's the thing. Given how that day 21 horde went, I don't know if I'd want to have these potato plants on the ground floor. I might try to make, like, an elevated greenhouse or something like that. So we might need to build up the base a bit more. That might be one of the first things we do, honestly. I know I said I wanted to explore right away, right? Hello, Zambies. What is that? More potatoes? That's more potatoes. I could... Or those carrots. I don't know what those are. Hold on. I'll, I'll kill some of these Zambies. Hello, Zambie. Yeah, what's up, bro? What's up, what's up Lassie? I'll go I'll, I'll sledgehammer for you. Yeet! Glad we could settle that disagreement. What is that? That's an interesting looking location, too. Yeah, if any of these locations we have passed by, by the way, <coughs> you guys know of, and maybe you guys know are really good, I'd love to hear. No, just more potato. I will collect more potato. You can never have too much potato, comrade. So, uh, while we do this late night potato spree, I need to get some stamina back, by the way. I will kill these zombies, kind of slowly wandering their way towards me. We could honestly... Just kind of spend the night wandering around here. Like, we don't need to necessarily go home. Although, these potatoes are very valuable, so... I don't want to die out here. Yo, yeet! We got another level. Uh, but like, I don't know. If we're already out here, we're spending a good amount of time potato harvesting. Things might not be too shabby. If I could just find another cornfield, you guys do not understand the amount of plant we would have... ...of both of these, which are needed for that meat stew. Then we just need animals. Dude, honestly, at that point, all we would need to do... Is just kind of hunt some animals. And that's where we could get the animal fat and the meat. Dude, that we're just a couple hunting trips away from literally the best food in the game. At least last last I was pretty into the seven days that I cooking. Right. To my knowledge, the meat stew, at least in the past, was the best food. So I something may have changed. There might be some other sort of godly food. But uh you can't go wrong with meat stew. I think that's the plan. Because this potato is mine. Bless up. This is exactly why we gotta explore sometimes, too. And why the mini bike makes exploration so much easier. And why it's just such a great thing. It makes stuff like this more possiblemente. Oh! No, 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 no. I don't have the ammo for this. Please keep... Just... Go that way. Hello. Please go that way. I don't like this. At all. Okay. Operation. Run to the mini bike and get to driving! We gotta yeet out of there! See you later, Horde! I'm not stopping for a minute! No, 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 That's my song titled No. Dedicated to the Horde. My next hit single 
Yes, dedicated to you guys and how absolutely fan freaking fantastic you guys are. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry, you know, not not as many no's. There's better bang for your buck in terms of the yes to no ratio. You know, just a lot of mathematics, formulas, all that type of stuff at work. Long story short, you guys are absolutely fan freaking fantastic and the horde is not. Now, where in Tarnation are we, dude? Like, this is an interesting place we have stumbled across, to say the least. Like, the amount of ta- like, this- this is like a, some kind of super city we're living in. Like, seriously. It's not like these towns are, like, that spread out. Like, they're vaguely connected to each other. Which is absolutely insane, you know? Holy guacamole. This is like a giant street with all sorts of big buildings. Oh, that's a parking lot! We don't talk about those. We, we know what happens at parking lots. <laughs> Never again, baby. Never again will I trust you. Except, I'm not gonna lie, if we ever need a makeshift shelter, fortifying a parking lot would not be the worst idea in the world. Alright, though. I think we'll start turning our way up. It's pretty bright for what time it is, supposedly. Like, I will take that. I'm not complaining. I'm just surprising. And, uh, maybe just because we were in the winter biome. We'll continue exploring a little bit. There's a pretty tall-looking building up this way. The tall buildings usually catch my attention, just because those have the potential of being like a shotgun of Messiah factory, which we still got to find one of those, man. We, we found one in season one, and then our season one save broke. Hello, excuse me, Road. Who built you? Because they suck. Uh, oh no, that just might be the bear den or something like that, right? I'm kind of starting to get used to this architecture and stuff. I don't think there's anything super special. Got a couple more buildings up here. Joey's used cars! And the booby trap. <laughs> um, no, it looks like it kind of ends. Ooh, gas. Hello. Don't mind me. I'll pick up a couple of those. Quick little hit and run. Okay, that guy's starting to wake up. That's a dead end, excuse me. Took a wrong turn somewhere. But, yeah. Not much more buildings to the north, but it does look like this road in civilization continues west. So we'll continue going this way. That was the paper factory, by the way. We'll continue going this way, and hopefully coming across uh, not-a-dog places. I don't like the zombie dogs. But, uh, hopefully coming across some bigger attraction-type locations. Mainly the Shock and Messiah factory we long for. But uh, if we come across some other stuff, I, I would not entirely mind. Yeah, check it out. It's like... I'm surprised by this place, man. So, I don't know. We might go and actually loot a place up during the nighttime. Like, we got some band-aids to mess with. We got some pretty good weapons. We got some emergency bullets, too. So, we got some stuff to play with. But, uh, that's gonna be something for next time. Because with that said, with that done, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you, guys, a whole time for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.